Welcome to Korean Architecture, its character and history explained. Good day! Welcome back to our channel. This time for our History 3, History of Architecture in Asia. Our feature is Architecture in Korea. What's up Korea? Korean traditional architecture exists within the context of Asian traditional architecture. Nonetheless, it has developed according to the, its own particular set of characteristics its flexible responses to topography and surrounding mountains, the organic layout of its buildings, its reiteration and metastasis of space that distinguish it from architecture of China and Japan. Example of temples of the three different kingdoms in Korea the Guguryu. Guguryu temples were built within three sanctums arranged to the north, east, west, and central wooden octagonal pagoda. This layout corresponds to that of Japan's Asuka Dera and Horyoji temples, indicating that Guguryu's architectural culture was transmitted to Japan. Here is the example of the Gogoryu's layout of the palace. It is somewhat recognizable with Japanese architecture. The Kingdom of Silia. Sila or Silia differed from the other two kingdoms in its frequent use of brick-like patterns in the constructions of pagodas. The pagoda at the Bunwangza temple, for example, consists of stone cut into the shapes of bricks and was built using a brick laying techniques. Pagoda Tap It is almost or seemingly the same style of architecture of the Korean and Japanese. But according to expert, Korean architecture exists first or ahead of the time than Japanese. A small stone tower built to enshrine the Sarira. This is called Japanese lantern in Japan. That's a garden lantern. Goryeo period. The construction of stone pagodas and stupas continued in the Goryeo period. The number of stone pagodas greatly increased with the strong expressions of regional character. This led to diversification of forms and heights, with some pagodas reaching 11 stories. Wooden architecture and the types of brackets used in Korean architecture is seemingly the same as with of China and Japan. There are two bracket in Korean architecture, the Jusimpo or the column head bracket and the Dapu or the multi bracket. Intasis, it is a technique used by the Greek first or by the Romans to eliminate illusion of bolds, boldness of a column. Example, it is employed in the architecture of the Parthenon. In architecture, intasis is the application of a convex carve to surface of aesthetic and technical purposes. Their diameter is decreased from bottom upwards and one third from bottom is the thickest point. Types of roofs in uh, Korean architecture 
the mat bae or the gable roof, the odin cap or the hip roof, the paljack, the hip and gable roof. Joseon period in Korean architecture, the most important and formal buildings in royal palaces and Buddhist temple used multi-bracket design. Other important buildings of lower status featured column head brackets design. Normal houses were usually built without the use of brackets, which is called Minduri style. Ikgong style. The Ikgong is a simplified version of the bracket found in column head and multi-bracket designs featuring a bird beak-like protrusion as its main decorative element. Here are the example. Structure and layout of Hanok. The layout of Hanok in northern region is a square layout to enclose the central living space preventing the cold wind from entering the house. In southern region straight line layout to optimize airflow many windows to let the natural air. In central region, the L layout combined the northern and the southern styles. Traditional Korean houses consist of several standalone buildings to separate servants from owners, men from women, adults from children. The structure of Hanok platform Hanok are built on raised platforms usually made by peeling rocks. Corner stones, natural stone blocks with pillars hewn to fit them to avoid water splashing into the house in rainy days. Also platform used to block the humidity from the ground. The structure of Hanok. Joining and connecting methods at joining. A dovetail joint used in joining joints of timber or woods. The dovetail joint consists of a series of trapezoidal pins interlocking with similarly shaped tails. In connecting, the tongue and groove joint formed by the insertion of the tongue of one intersecting wood piece into the groove of the other. Materials in Korean architecture in Hanok have their own tile roofs called the giwa, wooden beams and stones, black to construction. Tiuma is the edge of the Hanok's curvy roofs. The length of the tiuma can be adjusted to control the amount of sunlight that enters the house. Hanji is lubricated with bean oil making it waterproof and polished. Windows and doors made with Hanji are beautiful and breathable. Doors and windows in Korean architectures. Doors are high roof made with thick wood board. Windows generally rectangular made of wooden prime lined with traditional paper lining. The main gate was used only on the special occasion. Narrow side gate was used in everyday basis. Natural air penetrate through the windows, natural light to enter the room. Paper made from natural wood pulp is glued to the frame of the sliding doors, the cruise ribs of the windows. Maru and Ondol, the perfection of Korean traditional house. Examples of Maru left and Ondol right. Here is a diagram of the Maru. Deep eaves about an angle of 76 degrees, the highest altitude of the sun at the summer solstice. About 29 angle degrees, the highest altitude of the sun at the winter solstice.
How about if we will compare the architecture of Japan from that of Korea? Now let's go ahead. The distinctive feature of traditional Japanese building is the way in which the house is open to nature. The main materials used are wood, earth, and paper. The construction spreads out sideways rather than upwards. Prehistoric period in Japanese architecture, the Jumon period. Dwellings were built directly over the earth floor with a wood foundation, a thatched straw roof. Inside the house, their floors are hollowed. In that's why they are often called pit dwellings. In Yayoi period, Yayoi architecture is similarly to the Southeast Asia where building were raised from the ground. Used gable roof, houses were built on stilts to keep away pests. Kofun period in Japanese architecture marked the appearance of many chambered burial mounds or tomoli. Kofun literally means old mounds. Sim similarly, mounds in Korean peninsula are thought to have been influenced by Japan. The Buddhist architecture, the main hall, contained the most prominent object of the worship. The lecture hall, which in early temples was most often the largest structure, was used by monks as place for study instruction and performing rituals. Two types of towers predominated, one with bells that announced the time of religious observance, each day and another in which canonical texts were stored the Sutra Repository. Here is a layout of the Japanese palace or the Japanese Buddhist temple. Most important buildings in the temple are the main hall, the Hundu Kundu or Batsuden and the pagoda. Worshippers stand in the outer chamber facing the inner sanctuary with its images of the Buddha to pray pressing their palms together. What is a pagoda? Pagoda is a five-story high religious structure. Square in plans, in construction, they are virtually suspended around a central timber to provide stability to earthquakes. Ground story contains images and shrines. Here is a typical layout of the Japanese pagoda. The five elements representing the Buddhist universe, the sky, wind, fire, water, earth. Shinto structure. Shrine buildings are situated according to the environment. Kumaino, pairs of lion like figures placed in front of the gates or main halls of many shrines serve as shrine guardians. The nature of Shinto worship changed following the introduction of Buddhism, and shrine buildings borrowed certain elements from Buddhist architecture, for example, Many shrines were painted in the Chinese styles, red columns and white walls. The Jinja or shrine is where believers in Japan indigenous religion, Shinto, go to worship. Shintoism originated in ancient peoples, fears of demons and supernatural powers, and the worship of these it has no written body of doctrine, but it has Japan's main religion and is practiced widely through ceremonial and festivals. Here are examples of Shintoism structures. The Shinto shrines. The Tori Gate. The Shinto Temple. The Shinto Bridge, or called the Rainbow Bridge. Kumaino, the stone dogs which face each other at the entrance of the shrine. 
Turi is the symbol of shrine, its gate. To Zuya, the small pavilion near the main hall with water and ladies, people come here to wash their hands. Here are some definition of Japanese architecture. Shrine architecture. The main sanctuary of shrine is called Shindin or Honden. There are also ancillary buildings such as the Haiden or Outer Hall and the Hamutsuden or Treasury but these are not arranged according to the particular specified layout. Here are some ancient architectural houses in Japan. Castles in Japan underwent their most intensive phase of development in the Singoku Warring States era from 15th to 16th century. Here are some examples. The Tenzu Castle Tower was protected in order by fortified courts called the Homaro, Ninomaro, and the Sanomaro, meaning the main court, second court, and the third court. This is example of their fortified castle used in wars. Detailed of castle in construction. Construction and materials in Japanese architecture in traditional houses. Names of components Rough style, Irimuya, Tirizoma, Hugyo, Yusimune Types, types of roof Roof made of plant materials, metal roof, tiled roof, rocks roof Or roof made of wooden boards weighted down with rocks Types of roof tiles in Japan called the Kawara Karakusa Gawara Ichimonji Karakusa Gawara Sodi Gawara Maru Gawara Oni Gawara The Tomoe Gawara are types of Kawara roof or roof tiles in Japanese architecture. Construction method in Japanese traditional houses. Kin is the Japanese traditional unit of measurement that's equal to 6 Japanese feet shaku. Exact value has varied over time and location but has generally been a little shorter than 2 meters. 6 feet and 7 inches is 1 shaku. Now, Shiaku is standardized as 19 by 11 meter, used as proportion for intervals between pillars of traditional style building. Okay class, this is your activity number 4. Okay, number 4. What you will going to do with your number 4 activity is to draw the Korean Pagoda, the Japanese Pagoda, and the Chinese Pagoda. Sa tatlong band paper na magkahiwalay ay inyong idibuho or idrawing itong Korean Pagoda. Itong nandito. 
Ito yung Korean Pagoda guys Take note Sa itsura ng Korean Pagoda Kasi magkakaiba talaga yan Okay class, ito yung activity number f Okay class, ito yung inyong activity number 3 Drawing the traditional pagoda of Korea, Japan, and China Itong nauna, ito yung Korean pagoda Ito yung unang i-drawing nyo Sa magkahiwalay na tatlong band paper I-drawing nyo ang tatlong klasing pagodang ito ang Korean, Japanese, at Chinese pagoda. Okay, so take note of the picture of this Korean pagoda. And here is the number two. The Chinese pagoda. Okay. So ano ang pagkakaiba ng Chinese pagoda at itong Korean pagoda? Sa tingin nyo, ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba? Ang pagkakaiba nito ay itong tinatawag na eaves. Ang tawag diyan sa architectural term ay eave or eaves. Upright yung eaves ng Chinese architecture or Chinese pagoda. Ay ang kanyang eaves, itong panulong ay upright. At karamihan ng Chinese pagoda ay nasa hanggang 13 stories high. Okay, ngayon, ipapakita naman natin ang itsura ng Japanese pagoda. Okay, ito yung itsura ng Japanese pagoda. Itong nandito guys. At ang pagkakaiba niyan ng Japanese pagoda at itong Chinese tsaka Korean ay meron siyang parang antena dito. So, take note kung ano ang purpose nito. Try to research sa Google kung ano ang purpose ng part na iyan. Bakit merong antena ang Japanese pagoda? Okay, so balikan natin. Ang gawin ninyo ay tatlong drawing sa magkahiwalay na band paper. Ang i-drawing nyo in pen and ink or black in white drawing using pencil pen, pencil or ball pen na black ay Japanese pagoda, Korean pagoda, and the Chinese pagoda para malaman natin ang pagkakaiba ng tatlo. Okay, so maraming salamat. I'll see you on our next video sa ating lesson 5. Okay, that's it for today and at the end of this video, please uh, see my instructions on how to do your activity number four, which is drawing the three types of pagoda, that's the Korean, the Japanese, and the Chinese pagoda. Okay, class, ito yung inyong activity number three, drawing the traditional pagoda of Korea. Japan and China Itong nauna, ito yung Korean pagoda Ito yung unang i-drawing nyo Sa magkahiwalay na tatlong band paper I-drawing nyo ang tatlong klasing pagodang ito Ang Korean, Japanese at Chinese pagoda Okay, so take note of the picture of this Korean pagoda And here is the number two The Chinese Pagoda Okay So ano ang pagkakaiba ng Chinese Pagoda at itong Korean Pagoda? Sa tingin nyo, ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba? Ang pagkakaiba nito ay itong tinatawag na eaves Ang tawag dyan sa architectural term ay eave Or eaves Upright yung eaves ng 
Chinese architecture or Chinese pagoda. Ay, ang kanyang ibs, itong panulong ay upright at karamihan ng Chinese pagoda ay nasa hanggang 13 stories high. Okay, ngayon, ipapakita naman natin ang itsura ng Japanese pagoda. Okay, ito yung itsura ng Japanese pagoda. Itong nandito guys. At ang pagkakaiba niyan ng Japanese pagoda at itong... Chinese tsaka Korean ay meron siyang parang antena dito. So take note kung ano ang purpose nito. Try to research sa Google kung ano ang purpose ng part na iyan. Bakit merong antena ang Japanese pagoda? Okay, so balikan natin. Ang gawin ninyo ay tatlong drawing sa magkahiwalay na band paper. Ang i-drawing nyo in pen and ink or black in white drawing using pencil pen pencil or ball pen na black ay Japanese pagoda, Korean pagoda and the Chinese pagoda para malaman natin ang pagkakaiba ng tatlo. Okay, so maraming salamat. I'll see you on our next video sa ating lesson 5.